Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my previous video that I did regarding talk show host Wendy Williams and her should I say friend? I guess so. Let's say friend, um, Mike, because according to what you guys have said as well, that maybe I got it wrong, that Wendy did not put Mike in the friend zone. It was Mike that put Wendy in the friend zone from the start. And I must say, I think you guys are right because from the beginning, Mike has been saying, well, basically he's not falling in love with her. He just wants to get to know her and she's a friend pretty much. He has made that clear from the beginning. It was Wendy that was insinuating that he was like her long-term, sorry, not long-term, long distance boyfriend from Maryland. And she was talking, gushing about him on the show, making it appear that they were more than just friends. Of course, we can see based on the Fox 5 interview that Mike was having, that you know Wendy was dipping it and doing it in Maryland and then she left and then all of a sudden she was saying a whole different tune when she was talking with Andy Cohen on her show she was saying no 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 me and Mike are cool that's a whole different um talk compared to how Wendy was talking about Mike from the beginning if you guys remember so it's clear and I think I will agree with you ladies that Wendy was always in the friend zone for Mike. And it also appeared that, remember when we were talking about this might be a business transaction, like a deal type thing between them because Mike advertised his drinks. And of course, yes, Wendy was not involved in him advertising his drinks. Um, like in the, well, actually, sorry, let's, let's clarify that. This could be a partnership a sponsorship where it's like product placement. So Wendy doesn't have to talk about his drink, but Wendy being with him can make people go check out what he's doing and then just see that, you know, he's promoting the Celsius drink. And now that everything is done, maybe they just continue to be friends and maybe business partners. I'm not really sure, but as far as a relationship goes, it's very clear that this relationship doesn't appear to be a genuine one. And now when I look back at the interview of Wendy just walking in on Mike's interview on Fox 5, it makes me think that this was all planned and it was just done on purpose, that Wendy just wanted to make a cameo, but kind of make it seem like it was just kind of natural, but it doesn't appear as natural anymore when I took another look at it. I will put a link in the video description so you guys can go back and take a look at Wendy, you know, being caught in Mike's bedroom and Mike looked all flustered and just all over the place. His clothes was not, you know, like, I don't know. He just looked all over the place. I would love to see what you guys have to say. Comment down below, take a second look. And yes, I will say I agree with you ladies that Wendy was already in the friend zone. She did not put Mike in the friend zone. Mike put her in the friend zone from the beginning. And I think that she understood that after a while, which made her then just think, well, I don't want to be with this guy. But it could also be a business transaction as well. So let's see what happens moving forward. Um, if Wendy does bring Mike up again, but you know how Wendy is. She is the type to kind of start blabbing and telling us more details. And I think Mike was also nervous too. Remember, cause Mike couldn't even talk to the public unless he had permission from the Wendy Williams show, right? So all these interviews he was doing was surrounding Wendy as well because he was the winner of Date Wendy. So I think that this man had a lot of pressure because he told me when we spoke on Instagram, he said that he does not want to become a hot topic. And I think this guy was uncomfortable with Wendy continuing to talk about him. But then he was also nervous. Like, if I don't have a relationship with this woman, she might then, you know, ruin my reputation and make me look like a horrible person. So I think that that's, wow, a lot of pressure. Imagine going out with Wendy and Wendy's into you, but you're not into her that much. And then being worried that with her platform and her following, because she's a celebrity, she could also ruin your business and ruin your reputation. That's really tough. So yes, if I was Mike, I would tread lightly. And I think he's done a great job of just being friendly and 
as Wendy said, they're cool. So he's trying to be cool with Wendy as well. So, I mean, I wish the guy all the best. <laughs> Wendy does have a lot of power and a lot of influence as well. So, ooh, let's see what happens. And I do wish Wendy the best as well in her relationships. I mean, she's dipping it and doing it here and there. She is, you know, sneaking into the hood, meeting up with people. She's meeting up with a bunch of mystery men, snuggling up with them. So I think she's going to be okay. And she's back to wearing her Daisy Dukes as well, like her short shorts. <laughs> so you know how Wendy is, guys. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, ladies. I value your support very much. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram at Sunday Omni or on Facebook at Sunday Omni TV. Until next time, cheers.